Let's start the speed test. So this is the download and upload speed for your D-Link G530 Wi-Fi 6 router. This is the D-Link G530 5G NR AX3000 Wi-Fi 6 router. Now this not only functions as a router, but you can also install a SIM card and you can have a failover for your internet for use at home or at work. Now with the 5G connectivity, you get speeds up to 2.6 gigabits per second and with Wi-Fi 6, it will deliver a faster speed, greater capacity and reduce network congestion. So we are going to unbox this. We're going to set it up and show you how to use. If you are new to the channel, we do tech gadgets reviews and how-to videos. These are the items in box. Let's take a look at the router. From the front, there's an LED for status indicators. For convenience, we have put over here the various status indicators that the LED can show. Let's take a look at the back of the router. At the back of the router, you've got the following ports and buttons. From top, you've got the two gigabit LAN ports followed by the nano SIM card slot then you have got the WPS button followed by the power on off button and then you have got the DC power connector at the bottom of the router you have got the reset pinhole or the reset button and there's a label that you need to take note where it shows the SSID as well as the password. You will need this information when setting up the router. Inbox, the router comes with a power adapter and two power plugs. Choose the appropriate power plug for use in your country. So to assemble, simply slide it on and step it in. To remove, press over here and slide it out. Let's connect the power cable to the router. Next, with the power adapter connected to the wall socket, let's plug the other end into the router. We'll plug it into the power port located at the back of the router. You may turn on the power at the wall socket. At the same time, we're going to connect the LAN cable from the modem to the router. And we'll plug it into the port labeled internet, which is the port over here. With the router powering up, let's go to our app and download the Falcon app and install and set up the router. So from our Android phone, let's go to Play Store 
and do a search for Falcon app. Download and install the D-Link Falcon. Once the app is installed, open the app. Now, you can create an account or sign in if you have got a D-Link account, which we will sign in. You can create an account or, in our case, we will sign in with email. We need to tap on this checkbox over here and accept. Go to next. We will allow the app to access the device location. Let's install a new device. Now the easiest way is to scan the setup code. And this is available on the label at the bottom of the router. Now there's two ways to set up. One is to set up via the mobile cellular internet, which we have not plugged in our SIM card yet. So we will set up the broadband internet. Our modem is already powered off and the LAN cable is connected to our router. And our modem is powered back on. Similarly, our router is also powered on. And on the LED, you can see that it is blinking orange. So let's connect to the router. Now we can create our own network by using our own network name and password. Go to next. So we need to create a password to protect our device. We'll call our router G530 router. Let's save these settings. Let's connect to our home network. We are connected. Go to next. And our Wi-Fi is set up. Let's play a YouTube clip. We will play this clip. This is my fault. And we are able to play the clip. So this is how you unbox and set up the D-Link G530 Wi-Fi 6 router.